Hello, this is Ryan Tierney, and I'd like to give you a tour today of our amazing Lean Woodshop. So I'm really excited to show you this today because we do lean tours for companies that come from all over the world to see how we've implemented lean manufacturing. And one of the comments we get over and over is on how amazing our woodshop is. Get ready because what I'm about to show you is going to blow your mind. Let's go. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick overview of the entire facility and show you at a high level the way that it's laid out and the attention to detail that we've went through with absolutely everything. So you can see all the QR codes on the side of the screen for all the tasks. This machine is absolutely meticulous. The attention to detail and the cleanliness of this machine. Now this machine is four or five years old and it looks like brand new. So this is a router table. So the router is sunk into the table. The dust is extracted through the material into the pipe and into our extraction system. We've got all the tools right in place, all labeled, all really clear. The standard work is right where we're asking the question. It's right here where we're doing the work. So this shows exactly what goes into each chair. Just moving on around here, the speaker, even the attention to detail on the chargers. It really is unbelievable, the time and dedication to continuous improvement in this one area. So we've got our miter fast and glue activator, our sander is in place, our drills are labeled. The nuts and bolts are exactly where they're needed. The crumb trail is here for where to restock the glue. Everything is really, really at a high level. We've got our standard work on here for exactly what this job entails. We've got our bin here with the visual on here to show exactly what goes in this bin. The goggles, the tape measure, the drill, it's at the angle where you need to grab it. We've got our visual management here for all the different size of the parts we need. So we don't have to use a tape measure. Again, we've got our glue right here, our crumb trail. The trolley is labeled. Every single thing has a place. So this is our panel saw. Again, this machine is three years old, but it looks absolutely brilliant. It looks brand new. So we've got the air protection up here. This is area 4.7. So all the tools in this area are labeled 4.7. We've actually wired the machine that as soon as we turn on the, the saw, the extraction system goes on automatically. So that's brilliant. We've got our standard work on here for all the parts that we cut regularly. Everything is labeled. We know exactly what every single switch does. So this is our toolbox, everything cut out of Kaizen foam, everything meticulously labeled, nothing out of place. So I really like this, when we go to change the bed on the CNC machine, we need a drill and we need three screws. So look where the drill is, look where the screws are, they're on a magnet, they're labeled, it's exactly where we're asking the question. We're not away looking for five minutes for screws or for a drill, we want to get back to work, get the machine changed over and get back to adding value for our customers. So this is probably my favorite area of the whole wood factory. So the CNC router bit 4.0. Look how visual and well labeled every single bit is. And it's in a two bin system. So as soon as we use these two bits here, we trigger the Kanban and we've got safety stuff. And even over here, we've got a tape measure in place. We've got a place for a screwdriver, a place for a magnifying glass. The verniers have a place, even the sockets. So if these sockets blow the fuse, we know exactly which fuse board to go to to get the electric going again. Really Over here, we've got our tool change wrench. We've got our tool change holder. And wherever we ask the question, that's where the answer should be. So we're always asking, what's the dimensions of the CNC tools? The answer is right here. So one of the most impressive things about this tour and everything you're seeing in this video is that all these ideas come from the people who are doing the work. So all these ideas came from Patty. They didn't come from me. They didn't come from management. The ideas come from the person who's doing the job because they're the experts. They know better. So you're maybe watching this and thinking, how did we get to this level of sophistication and attention to detail? And it's actually really simple. And it's this idea of two second lean. We've been doing two second lean now for six years and it's really transformed our company. So every single day we set aside time in the morning to improve our area with every single person. Then the accumulation of all those tiny incremental improvements over months and years add up to what you're seeing in this video. So just notice this, we've actually made a kicker board for below the machine to stop the sawdust and any wood chippings getting in below. And it's so professionally done, you would almost think that it came with the machine. Uh, so here I'm going to burn the wood here. You have everything you need to actually get the fire lit. So you have your wee burner. Um, so it also, as we come to it, as you can see. Yeah. So now you know exactly where to get the resistant gas. You have a wee saw here just to cut the wood up if you need to. 
Also, you have a free come sale where to get the spare blade. So every single thing you need is right here. Yeah. So there's zero struggle. No. Because where there is struggle, there is waste. And what is the wood burner for, Paddy? Just getting rid of all the scrap, you know, in here from the wood air, as you can see. So it's just, like, there's a lot of waste, but it's just me bits and pieces. So we're actually hitting our factory with yeah. the waste wood. That's it. Brilliant. Okay, Paddy, so we just finished a tour of your area, and I want to ask you a question. Do you ever run out of improvements? Never. There's always something that comes up every single day. For me, I would say probably flow is the main one. You create a flow in your area, and you know, making everything run smoothly, and as well as that, as, um, fix what bugs you. Um, I'm always asking myself, and always fixing what bugs me in the wood area. So no, you never ever run out of improvement. So that's kind of your two key principles. Yeah. Fix what bugs you, and create flow. Create flow, yeah. Brilliant, thanks Patty. So every single morning, we start with a morning meeting with every person in the company. We talk about lean principles. We're continually growing and developing our people and encouraging them to make lean improvements like you've seen in this video. So it really is an amazing journey we've been on. And I hope this video inspires you to either embark on your lean journey or take your lean journey to the next level.